nějaký jako všechny ty věci, jo, jo. Ale inter, static, stat, statický analyzátor. Ale to existuje. Ono to jde. <laughs> super, super. Ještě by to nemuselo být. Právě, že je pilot třeba, co toho dělá. Ale pilot ti objeví, ale jo. Většinu těch, pokud neděláš nějaký už prasárny, už je v runtime, nějaký monkey patching, tak ti to nejde. My si ho teda upravili, tak už měli pokytu. To ani neznám, ty jo. Tak to mi třeba držet chce. Protože jo, pak mi to tak, že tři soubory vedle sebe a se Až je to Ale to Já myslím, že jo. OK, tak jdeme do toho. Ale lepší už to nebude. Jsme chvíle. from kernel quick engineering working in Red Hat. I test several subsystems in or parts of networking. That's IPsec, IPVS, um, some of the tunneling. And besides that I'm also a contributor to, to LNST project and this presentation will be about this too. So let's start with what's what I believe talking about. So first of all, I will talk briefly or uh, a bit of, about what it takes to write an automated test. Uh, what are the problems there? What's, why we want to um, automate this? Uh, then I will talk about the LNST project. That's a Linux network stack test project. Uh, uh, how it deals with the problems when you write the test. How it deals with the portability of the tests. And then I will, sh I, I, in, in, in the abstract, I, I, I wrote that I will do a short live demo. It won't be short. I will have free, free demos how to use LNST. So yeah, that's another part. And then any questions you might have, feel free to ask them um, after the session. <laughs> Thanks. So. Uh, When we write a, a network test, so this is really a simple, simple example. When we want to do a test, we we start by doing it manually. So, simple ping test: you log into one machine, configure the device, configure the IP address, log into the an another machine, configure the device, set the remote address, and the, then you ping from one machine to another. That's quite simple, right? So the problem comes when you want to write a more complex setup. So you want to bond two or more network devices. You want to add VLAN on the top of bond. Or even you want to use a network namespace. So doing this manually, uh, you, can get a, you can get lost when you write such tests. So, and If you, if you do this manually, it, you, it, it becomes a headache. So what you can do about this? Uh, you write a script. So you, you script the thing. It can have, have uh, 100 lines. Um, it can uh, do a complex test. 
So you can run it uh, every day when you do uh, regression checks for your changes in the kernel. But the next problem with this is when you find a bug. What will you do? So you take your script and send it to the developer. Please run it. Uh, you, the developer, might need to make the changes to the, to the script because uh, mesh host names c could differ. Uh, also, when you when you have another uh, machines to tell that the developer has in his, in his lab, the network device names could differ. So that could really be a problem, or it becomes a headache also for the developer. So. Uh, what can you do next? You can use LMST. Uh, the, the advantage here is that with a developer, you, you share the same script that can run both you as a quality engineer and also developer on his setup. This looks really nice, or it sounds nice, but so how we do this? So let's have a look uh, about uh, let's have a look at the concepts that uh, LMST uses to overcome this problem. But first of all, I, I will just say a few informations about the, the project. So LNST, it's a testing framework uh, written in Python, and it does basically two things. It help you, helps you with automation of the network configuration. So the complex setups I, I was talking before, bonding, teaming, VLANs, net, net, namespaces. And it also solves the portability issue. So you can share the same script, nothing needs to be changed. Uh, and that's it. It uses simple client-server model. You have uh, two Python scripts. One is uh, LNST CTL, that's the controller. So that's here, that's where you sit as a, as a quality engineer or developer. And it communicates with uh, LNST slaves. Each LNST slave represents one test machine that you have in Tesla. Uh, I won't go too much into details uh, because I want to show you the demo. <laughs> uh, how how LNST deals with portability? So, yeah, in the in the first on the first slide you saw a simple. Pink tests, Sim simple test. To perform a network test, you need basically three things. You need to have a test machines, the test lab where, where you want to test. You need to configure the network stack, and then you run something over the wires. So these are tr three, three, three things that uh, LNST somehow uses. To the first thing, test machine. Uh, LNST uh, uses concept of slave pool. Slave pool is basically a directory or set of set of files where every file represents one test machine, and it, it contains information about how to connect to the, to the test machine and which devices it has available. So uh, they are <laughs> identified by MAC addresses. So LNST slave knows how how to how to which devices to use. So a slave pool basically uh, describes your uh, testbed topology. Then the second thing, which covers two remaining items for the network test, is LNST recipe. LNST recipe <coughs> contains information about what you require for your, for your test. So you say, I need two two hosts for testing. On the first host, I need two network devices. On the second one, one, two, or even more. And then there is an information how you want to configure the network stack. So I will, uh, you want to, to bond the devices or configure VLAN, VLANs on them or, or Mac VLAN or whatever. Uh, then there is um, information about IP addresses you want to use on the devices. Uh, and the last part is actual 
performing the test. So, so the task you want to do on the configuration. Let's have a look at uh, how, how to get everything done. So uh, LNST controller uh, program takes these two parts. That's LNST recipe, your requirements for the test, and the slave pool, so the, the representation of your test bed. It parses everything and then tries to match your requirements to the slate pool. The result is a, is a filtered set of uh, test machines that, that uh, that are capable of running your tests. <coughs> so with, 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 with this set of machines, it will connect to the slaves in your, in your test lab, configure the stack according to the, res to the requirements in the re re recipe, and run the test. So um, that's how LMST works. Uh, instead of going too much into the detail, I will show you actually uh, how can you run LNST. I have I have three three uh, demos here. The first one is basically how we use this in Red Hat, Red Hat for testing. So we have a represent representation of a of your test lab and uh, do uh, specify the requirements, run run res recipe on it. The second demo will, will be uh, about the feature of LNST uh, where you can use LNST to, uh, to dynamically create the, the whole network. This also, this only works in a libvirt environment, so LNST works with uh, virtual guests and based on, based on your requirements, it will create the, the network topology you need. It will dynam dynamically attach the uh, network interfaces and wires it up. And in the, sec in the last one that will be uh, showing uh, packet capture ability where LNST will capture everything what's going over the configured devices. So let's start with the first demo. First demo, uh, the, the test bed looks like this. Uh, I, the, the recipe I want to use is I want to have two devices bonded together on one machine. On the second machine, I, will, uh, I, I require only one, one interface and then run. Well, actually, I won't be running any tests. I, I will just show you the feature that you can check how, how the match will look like. So. Let's go to the demo. Uh, so, demo one, matching, one setup. Uh, another, um, well, when you, when, you are, when you are about to create the, the slave pool directory, uh, they, are, they are XML files. Uh, to edit XML file, it's really, it's, it's easy, but uh, it's, it's not very efficient. So uh, LNST provides LNST pool wizard uh, that you can run uh, and it will connect to the LNST slaves, uh, check for the ne network devices that are, that are available on the machine and based on this data, it will um, create the XML file and store it, store it in the directory you want. So um, it... Uh, in the interactive mode, it, it queries for the directory where you want to store it. So, we, oh, yeah, I have already pre predefined directory on the command line. So, you basically enter the host name. I have a, uh, I'm using virtual guests right now in on my in my laptop. So, and I have a pre-configured resolving at honesty. Maps to into a certain address. Um, you can go with the defaults. It will ask for the output uh, XML file, so just confirm, and then it it 
queries the machine what devices are available there. So, and you just confirm which device you want to add. So, I will go with, I want to add everything that, that is there. Uh, do you want to add, an, yeah, so we want two hosts set up. Uh, I have LNST2 machine there. <coughs> Again, queries the devices. Yeah, so no more machines to add. So it will create two XML files that represents your, your, your test bed, what, what's available for testing. Uh, I just show you briefly what's the content. So basically, there is a information how to connect to the machine, so a host name, I have local resolving set. And then there are two devices for, available for testing. So that just for the first, first machine, I won't show the second machine, it's basically the same. So now, let's run a, a LMST controller, uh, where I will show you uh, how it can just show you how it would match your requirements to the testbed. So my requirements uh, is I want to have two devices on the first machine, one device on the second machine, and you can see that there's the multi-match option. What it does is it tries to create every possible match for, for the setup. So match, um, if you have, for example, three hosts, it will try to match every, every combination of these hosts. And if there you have devices on, the, on these machines, where both machines have two devices, for example, it will try to switch it and connect every possible match. So uh, um, the question for you, how many matches do you think you will, will, we will have? So we want to match two devices to one, to one device from the other hosts. How many matches there are possible? Two? Why do you think so? <laughs> so let's have a look. So yeah, you are right. That's basically, uh, yeah, uh, Alan, I, I won't go too much into the log because it's, it's boring, but uh, Alan Steve will give you a summary at the end. Uh, right now it will only output the, the possible matches that it was able to do with the your testbed. So uh, on the first machine, you match first interfer interface to ENS8, second to ENS9. ENS on the second machine, there is no other possibility. And the, in, the, on the, in the second match, you match the face one to the other, so it's reversed. So you're right. <laughs> That's for you. Uh, OK, so well, that was multi-matching. This is really a simple example. Um, when it comes to, for example, you want to do uh, two devices to, two, to another two devices, and you want to do, uh, for example, mirrored, mirrored uh, bonding, bonding setup, the, there, are, there are a lot of combinations there. So that's one feature. Let's come to the second demo where I will show you how you can, how you can use LST uh, in a virtual, virtualized environment. So I will use uh, two virtual guests that are also running on my, my machine. And uh, yeah, I will show you how LNST will create the, the network for testing. So again, I will use uh, LNST pool wizard. Uh, but now, uh, if, you, if, you, if you run pool wizard in virtual mode, you just specify the libvirt domain. So uh, yeah, let's create the pool directory where it will be stored. You enter the libvirt domain. Uh, the pool wizard will use a, a libvirt Python API. It will query query the guest uh, basically for for its host name or how how to connect. So you you just all that you need is just to specify the libvirt domain. 
We want to add another. Uh, let's it's lnst2 guest. That's it. And if we have a look at the, the directory, there are two two XML files for two hosts again. And the nice thing is that only 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 thing that you need to specify there is just the word domain. The the host name that is there it, it was. Uh, unless you can can fetch this information through through libvirt. Okay, so let's have a look. Uh, let's run something. Another feature or another mode that you can uh, use for the control is just to configure the stack and don't run the task. Don't perform the test. That could, that could be useful if you just if you want to check the things uh, by your own. So let's have a look at this. It will again process the, the directory, process your requirements, try to match it. In summary, you there is an inform information that this setup is using virtual machines and the information how, how the match went. Let's have a look at the guests. So uh, <coughs> you can get to the LST one. Now uh, yeah, maybe one thing that I didn't mention is that was it time? Okay. Uh, is that LST requires that the test machines have a dedicated uh, interface for control slave connection. So that's the, that's the first device that control uses, and then there is a second device that was created dynamically, and it also uh, got the IP address. So if you want to uh, perform a, a, a test by your own. You just do, you ping the remote machine, and it looks like it wor it's working. Okay, so uh, that's for the config only mode, and also the how you can use virtual machines for your testing. Uh, let's get back to the third third demo. So that's basically a feature that you can specify. I'm interested in packet captures on the on the interfaces. So let's have a look at this. Uh, for this test, I will just use a simple one interface on one host, one interface on another host, run a ping test. So basically what was shown at the beginning. And it will include the packet capture. So you just specify the minus P option. I'm interested in packet capture. Run it. It will. Maybe one, one, one more thing to this. If you do, do a config only mode, the configuration remains. Uh, when you run the, some, some another recipe again, uh, you don't need to worry about what's configured previously because uh, the controller keeps information about what has been config configured and it will deconfigure the previous co configuration so you start with a um, clear setting. So let's have a look at what's, what we have here. So actually right now I ran two, two tests. ICMP ping and ICMP ping. Um, it looks like it passed, so it's, it's a simple test. So let's have a look. Uh, uh, in the log, you have information about where the packet capture files were stored. So let's have a look at the content. Uh, this. So. In this directory, uh, there will be pcap files for every every testing interface that you had configured in the test. Uh, you can expect it through Wireshark or whatever tool uh, you want. So there will be nothing new. It's just uh, prove that it works. So, uh, yeah, so some information about the auto configuration, the beginning, 
when you bring the device up and from from here you can see the I see NPV6 uh, tab ping request echoes and here is where where the second second test starts so again uh, so that's for the demo let's get back back to the presentation so I'll just keep this this is a summary of LMST features that are currently in LMST so as I showed you we have a wizard for guide or automated pull creation it really helps a lot when you when you when you need to write it when you don't want to write the XML files. We have support for various devices, VLANs. We started with VLAN on Team Bridge. I think Mac VLAN was, was the, one of the first. Then there was, there's OBS support, VXLAN, VETH, Virtual Tunnel Interface, and you can, you can if, if, you, if you want, you can add support for anything else you need. The configuration of the stack we support current, we, we support two modes, either using IP tool or through network manager. But when I say that we support network, network manager, we might very likely uh, get rid of it. <laughs> I'm not sure, it, it, we, we are just uh, thinking about how to do this. So um, we also support network space awareness um, currently, how we use this is basically uh, using it with a with a VAETH just to um, check if, for example, I'm myself, I check whether IPsec uh, stuff works within net, net, network namespaces or not. So uh, then the dynamic network creation it's it's very useful if you don't want really to test on a real hardware so for for example for ipsec stuff or ipvs stuff i, I use it for this multi matching this can be really if you if you have a lot of test machines in your test lab you want to run just a with two set of machines it can be it can get really a long test then there's packet capturing i showed you it's using tcp dump it's extendable. You can write test modules in Python, or, or you can use a. It's called in LST, It's called LST, uh, the test tools. Um, it's simply wrapping anything, any any language that you that you want. So you you, you can write a, a program in C, and LST uh, uses a uses a simple. I don't. I don't. I won't go too much into the details. So test tools in any other language. And yeah, well, before the presentation, we had a talk, we had a chat with cheering, cheering guys. So actually, we have support for NetM, which is quite an interesting uh, um, tool for simulating various aspects of real networks. So adding delays. Adding reorder, reordering of the packets in the network stack or well on network devices rather. So that's for the features. Oh, what's the feature? Uh, Python three is becoming more and more like default. So we are about to check whether whether honesty work will work with this and tune it so that it works with Python three. Then. The, currently, we define the requirements in the LST recipe, which is an XML file. So, editing this, it's it's really uh, XML files are just not what we want. So, we would like to do the network definition or definition of your requirements for the network uh, in Python. So, basically, joining the, the task the test itself and, and the network configuration into one file, ideally. Then securing the control slave communication because when you run LNST slave, 
on your machine. It's just it's just a hole in your system. So currently it's not secured. But Andre Lichtner he's working on on uh, securing the communication between control and slave and also authentication. So what's next? Oh, oh. we uh, we are yeah. LST is available in uh, Fedora distro, so you can just install it. Uh, the code is at GitHub. There's a bunch of documentation for for very various parts of, of LNST. Uh, there's a quick start guide to get so that you can overcome few few things because because we need to tweak a bit. For example, network manager to to make it running with LNST. Uh, we are on IRC. You can email us and. We are very open to any com to contributions. If you, if you want, we want to contribute, we will, we will be very happy if you post patches and also to tell us what would you need from LNST uh, to make your life easier. Okay, so uh, now time for questions. <laughs> I mean, well, uh, I, I think I will ask Andre to answer this question because. So, the reason is it introduces a lot of problems, and especially when you think about the special and the other options of the integration. Like, uh, if network manager doesn't support something, and it's supposed to be, and, and you want to configure a master or a slave interface, for example, and it supports one but not the other, then it kind of gets hard when you go by what do you want to configure with what, and the combinations kind of get out of whack, and it does get stuck. And what do you think might I guess you can be used for some of the manager or this thing to be more Yeah, I mean, that was the original. We, we, we would like to keep it, right? right? But we, we, we need the original intention and try to keep it, but it makes a lot of problems for us. Uh, with everything else, uh, keeping everything working, yeah. keeping, uh, I periodically return to this is because of the work manager. And I still do have to write uh, workarounds and stuff like that, just so that everything works correctly. That's why. That's my yeah. Thanks for Thanks, Andre, and thanks for the question. We can try to talk with the network manager. Yeah, yeah. But we we want we 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 should probably keep we 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 should keep it. Okay. <laughs> we should. <laughs> uh, okay. Another another question. Just, just a suggestion, maybe 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 YAML instead of XML. Uh, storing the configuration buttons uh, of uh, of course very fine in the solution, mm -hmm. but uh, maybe YAML. That's a good idea. Uh, for like, um, basically, when we make the change, when we move to so network configuration to Python, uh, we just need to keep uh, data files for the slave pool, which is they are simple files. So we might we might consider it, but I think it's it's really not not required. We, we, we can live with, with, with simple XML files in a slave pool. Yeah? Uh, question, actually. Uh, do you need to run anything on the slave machines of the, on the slave pool? Do they need anything installed on them or running? Or just um, so, so basically, on the test machines, you need to run a LNST slave part. So it's a, it's a, de it's a demon that wait, awaits connection from the controller and control tells, tells, tells Slave, what it should do. So it should bring the device up, configure the address, or run the test, run, run some command on, on, on the test machine. 
So besides this, you don't really need to have anything. There are some dependencies like for the RTM package. We 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 uh, use uh, the Python PyRoot uh, module or module and bunch of other other things. For example, you for if you want packet capture, you need to have this installed. Uh, if you want to use Network Manager, obviously you need to have a Network Manager installed. So, F, does it answer your question? Yeah, I probably will for the second. Uh, could you configure other things as slaves that which are not Linux machines? For example, you want to configure uh, the switch. Can you somehow uh, create uh, test scenarios which involve configuring the middle devices? So the question, I repeated, the question is whether we sub or we plan to to do uh, to add possibility to configure the uh, the switches in in between. For it, it, uh, yeah, it, it could be useful for for example for bonding to test active backup mode, right? So you just bring the switch port down. So we wanted to do it in the past, but. Um, oh, we kind of uh, uh, left it for the very far future <laughs> uh, because it's, it's uh, you have various uh, vendors of switches, various types. So trying to come up with a with some abstraction like some in Python, just having a base class that you and you, then you would do implementation for for the other. Um, so it's not in our plans for the next feature. There are many vendors, and each of those uh, vendors is using their own uh, management tool, so it's very hard. So actually, yeah, but you have something. the possibility of implementing a flexible framework, and then who wants to use it? Well, we actually we do, we do something else. We wait for for vendors to uh, allow uh, Linux to run on the sweet books, and then we. Uh, we treat it as any other uh, node. So if I'm, if, yeah. I'm system, if I'm willing to write a tree code that would do the configuration, uh, maybe we should plug it in and just capture somehow. I think it will, it will need some kind, some a bit of redesign. Well, not that much, but we it, it will be like easy task. Okay. So what, what do you think? On I mean, I'm perfectly enough if you during the setup you have the XML with the, the setup that you can specify the script that is just run and it does magically everything. Or maybe providing some command out of some options like it can look what machines were selected or whatever on uh, the CD. I'll have to think about it, but I can definitely it should be possible somehow. I just don't know how yet. <coughs> Yep. Is there a limitation on number of saves you can have? I don't know. Well, I think no. I, I think there's no limitation. It's we haven't tested for like about thousands of saves. Well, but, but the tool is not a hard one. Right? I mean, no. The, the well, for example, if, uh, for ITV test testing, I use like one machine for one machine is used for balancing. And I have two clients and two set, two real servers that balance of progress to traffic. So five five hosts and it works. Well, I yeah, but I'm not really sure about in networking. You just I, I'm not sure about there are there are cases that you can have thousands of uh, hosts of information, but you. Honestly, yeah. the original idea was for testing the lower level, or for testing the real physical devices and TV on the floor. So basically, what we wanted have two machines and check whether the connection, connection works between them. Yeah. Well, yeah. Okay. So, uh, if I remember correctly, you support uh, Libbert, like you can you can support new uh, virtual machines. No, no. The machine must must be running. 
Já ani nevím, co na tom je popravdě. Někam to narvi. <laughs> Yes, I 
<laughs> okay, so oh well. Uh, you have uh, here three scarves for the best questioners. If you like some question, you can give it them. Okay. And uh, if you need more, you can use more. We have plenty of those. But okay. What's my, what's my information? So. Here's the presenter. If you want to use it. <laughs> okay, uh, you can use presenter. Do you, wa do, do you want it? Um, it's like keyboard. It will uh, move your slide to the next slide oh, really? and with uh, the pointer. How does that work? Uh, you, you must ah. connect it. Right now? Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, that's cool. Super. Is there a microphone that I have to use? For uh, microphone is here. Uh, when you will be somehow in the range, okay. uh, it will be okay. Okay. If someone asks you a question, please repeat it to the microphone. Okay. And uh, yeah, just, from what I know, just when you stay on the stage, it will be okay for the Okay. Okay, good. Um, uh, you will um, hold up a sign to remind me when I'm... Um, exactly. Like Ten minutes time. left, five minutes left, and out of time. Okay, and uh, you will time it for uh, 30 minutes? Uh, th 30 minutes? And then 10 minutes. Uh, this only. It's uh, 30 minutes with two big questions. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. For 30 minutes for the presentation and 10 minutes. Yeah. 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 That works for me. Okay. Uh, it, it should work, hopefully. Um, and. Um, I mean, there are a lot of examples at the end, and if necessary, you can see them. It would be sad because I want to showcase some of the cool things that you can do, so I hope it should work. Mm -hmm. uh, do you want an introduction? Some welcome, please welcome uh, at the presentation. I don't really care. I, will, if you, I, can, I can say something myself. Yeah, uh, Please, uh, Alex will do for, uh, do introduction do for do Alex. introduction for Hello. you. Uh, if you want, Florian. 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 It's Hi. on your way if you want it uh, or not. Please do. Uh, anything you would like me to mention? Um, yeah, I'm I'm a Netfilter core team member, and I work on NF tables. I'll, uh, from, I'll just keep it short. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, I work at Netflix. table rules. I, 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 I hope uh, it's mainstream soon, as in used mainstream. 